Hello, I wanted to share with you a package that I got. Um, it is from Sacred Source in uh, Virginia. They uh, make reproduction um, sacred items. And what I got was a reproduction of the Nebra Sky Disc. So if you've ever heard of um, the Sky Disc, um, it's a very interesting uh, uh, archaeological piece that was found in Saxony, Germany, and um, there was a lot of controversy at first whether or not this was a faked archaeological item or a real one, and it has since been determined that it is a real item. Um, if you want to learn more about this, um, you should go on YouTube. There are plenty of videos there on the Never Sky Disc. The one that I would recommend the most is from author Howard Crowhurst, who has a video through the Megalithomania channel on YouTube, and he also did a book on the disc. Excellent book, um, supplemental material, um, really, for the, the talk that you can hear from his uh, Megalithomania lecture. Uh, so if you wanted to have photos and uh, the diagrams where you can review it um, in more detail. It's a great book, very small book. It is, um, let me see how many pages, 59 pages, so a little short book, but it's nice to have so that you can have reference material. What I wanted to do the video for though was for you to see what the reproduction disc from Sacred Source looks like. So let's pop open the box and we will get a look. Receipt there. Um, they packed it in popcorn. So let me just set this on the floor. Here's the size of the actual box that you're going to be getting inside. Uh, the, the disc is um, less than a foot across. I think it is made to be um, a close replica for the, the real one, at least in terms of size, but in terms of details, not so much. It is a cleaned up version of the disc. So within the box, they use more styrofoam to pack it in, which is nice. So it's a really good uh, packing job. And then here's the disc itself. So I would like us to pause the video for a second so that you can see an actual photograph of the disc. So here is the actual disc that you get from Sacred Source. So as you can see, it is um, very similar, but not exactly the same as the, um, the real disc. It does have Pleiades, handles, the moon and the sun, and um, however you want to interpret this piece and the rest of the stars, it does have Harder to see, but all of the individual holes around the edge. You can't put anything in there to, to uh, a peg to track like they, they would have done uh, when the disc was originally made. Um, but it looks very nice. They did a good job of painting it to antique it a bit. And uh, one of the most important things is when you see pictures of this, both on the Sacred Source website and on Amazon where you can get them. The disc is, I believe, like that. But, very important, on the back for where you hang it, they have it set correctly. So when you hang it on the wall, it will be 
fine. It will be um, hanging as it should. Um, so there you go. It's flat, it's not curved, and it looks very nice. Um, Sacred Source usually does a very good job in making their um, sacred reproductions, so it's nice to see they get a, did a good job on this one. And as I said, I highly recommend that you look up the Megalithomania lecture from Howard Crowhurst. And um, if you are interested in uh, having it written down or um, seeing more details from his um, studies, um, you can go on Amazon and pick up his book. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Bye-bye.